Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a, a great day, a safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, they have the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We got a bounce. Boing! Dow Industrials up 371, NASDAQ up 176, SP's up 59, gold contract down $4.30, trading at 1515 an ounce. Gold also rejected lower price at 1501. Doing an ABC structure on the way up, 1575 to 1580 is the number. Silver also rejected lower price, finished down 22 cents, $16.97. Cents. That wants 18 bucks. Light sweet crude up a buck 63, $52.73 a barrel. Let's get over and take a look at that light sweet crude. The Saudis doing everything they can to keep the price up. Guess what? It's not working, folks. Bottom line, you're at $52.73. What we did yesterday is that you came into the swing low, monster volume, wants to go back after that low again, which is $50.52. What I expect we're going to see here, if we pull this back, you're going to see this thing blow by this swing low. Let's pull this up. Okay, so we put this in a continuous contract. What you're going to see out here is that it looks to me that you know, once you get to that $50 level, your next leg down is 47 to 42. And that's where it looks like it wants to go. If we go take a look at gasoline, unleaded gasoline, of course, that's what we all use. We don't use barrels of oil. We're trading at 165 right now. And this also blew by its low yesterday, uh, has the volume behind the move, or blew into its low and has volume. That baby also wants to crack that 160 level. Uh, XB, let's go XB1. We'll take a look at a continuous contract as to how this thing is shaking out. Yo, this is pretty cool. Oh, this already broke it. Oh, this is awesome, man. So check this out. Gasoline is leading on the way down, folks. Gasoline already broke its swing point from June. That's the 166.25. You get juice. And that's saying, hey, listen. Oh, man, this is going to be really strange. That's saying a gas unleaded gasoline. That's saying unleaded gasoline wants to trade down to 135. 135. You heard that right, folks. Pretty amazing. No doubt about that. Gold. Gold contract, bottom line. Rejected lower price out here today. This has been quite a move. There's no two ways about this. You know, we, br we bring gold back uh, just two months. Let's see. It's June, July. Two and a half months. So two and a half months, we just went from 1286 up to 1521. You get volume behind the move. This is an ABC structure on the way up, a confirmed one. And what that means when I say a confirmed ABC structure, folks, it means they took out the swing point, took out the swing point with volume, so your probability goes much higher that you're going to get to the price projection of the ABC structure. Now, what happens in the gold market is gold loves to do a 1 to 1.382 to 1.50 on the way up or on the way down. You know, when we talk about ABC structures, we're normally talking about a one-to-one -one structure, meaning that let's say a stock goes from 40 to 50, 10 points, pulls back to 45. Next move, 45 to 55. First move's 10 bucks, you get the consolidation, next move's 10 bucks. That's a one-to-one -one ABC structure. Well, you have a one-to-one, a one-to-1.382, a one-to-50, and a one-to-1.618. Bottom line, we'll see where this one shakes out. Notes and bonds, bottom line, they want higher price. Uh, note and bond market also today rejected lower price. Had light of volume and very well set up another ABC structure on the way up. The dollar index, guess what? Bulls and bears are still fighting over it um, in a big way, too. And they're, they're not, neither one of them have any conviction. But this is how this has been trading going all the way back to 2000, uh, I mean, October uh, yeah, of 2018. Uh, bottom line, 16,000 contracts today, sideways movement. Uh, no, no big deal. That's how this uh, baby is uh, shaking out right now. Uber, let's go take a look at uh, UBER, Uber Technologies. That just came out with numbers. That closed at $42.97. Had been up $3.27 for the day. Uh, giving it right back. $38. So you get a movement of $4.97. 
and I believe the movement that the option market was looking for was about uh, 350. So let's see what they have to say out here. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, look at this. So this this is this is such a monster number. They expected to uh, have a loss of uh, 5.27 billion. They came in with a loss of 5.24 billion. Net revenue, uh, look at this. See, I think Lyft's catching up with these guys, man. That's what's going on, too. You know, if we go back a year and a half ago, you know, you know people weren't talking about Lyft, but you, and you know what's interesting about this is that Uber drivers themselves, you know, when you get in, you know, you get, you get an Uber sign, you get a Lyft sign. So Lyft drivers themselves, no, Uber drivers themselves, basically have given Lyft a huge amount of notice in the marketplace and you can, I think it's showing right here because their revenue estimate had been three billion they did 2.87 billion now that's that's a huge problem uh, and their gross bookings uh, bottom line uh, went down on price well what they took in less they were expecting 15.83 billion they took in 15.76 I see that I don't know how they get net revenue adjusted when they lose five five billion but it's in there somewhere um so bottom line is that now you're back down on let's see where we are here so uber closed at 42.97 you're trading 38.20 and i believe we you went public at 45. it's pretty intense that uh, the whole time, uh, you know, bottom line, you get an IPO and you're underwater in this IPO on, on a continual basis. <laughs> um, that, no doubt, is a big number. No doubt about that. Let's go take a look at uh, VSLR. So this is, um, is that right? Let's say. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. This is, this is wild. Okay, so check this out. I, th I didn't realize this was public. Um, so this is v Vivint Solar. The low uh, is 355. The high is 982. That's today. Now, I've put in these, not the solar, but I've, I've, had, I've had the pitch from these guys on the solar because I, I put in some of these security systems. So this closed at $9.30. That's trading at $8.40. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.